and then suddenly lost his way. Just a few too many missed first serves. That 76% first serve percentage would have dropped a bit. And then a few hoiks on the backhand and that stupid drop shot. Too good. Oh, this is a stunning shot by Rios because he's made up his mind in that split second as he approached the ball where exactly he was going to hit it and no, just no two ways about it, went for it. Well, they've just got it a little wrong, not surprising. One would assume he was Alberto. He was for a long time. Now he's Albert. And Albert's uh, in danger of being run off his legs by this man now. shots of how he hardly ever brought the heel down, always on his toes. Momentum for Rios grows, five games in a row, but Bill Norris is on for him once again. Except there was a very big difference between the unforced errors, and now it has really reduced down. This is a very big game for Costa, he's lost five in a row. Again, the treatment, incidentally, was more smelling salts, or their equivalent. No uh, injury timeout, just during the 90-second uh, change of ends. Well, maybe it's a bit of chilli saltpetre or something that they put on there. A little bit of nitrate. He's certainly growing as uh, Costa falls away. What? That's where Rios becomes... Uh, huge threat for Costa is, is his ability to take such an early ball, a lot earlier than Costa. He can peg you back and keep you down a lot more efficiently than most. Yeah. 
Costa's government. Costa's getting decidedly ragged. Two points for a sixth successive game. Had two rackets sent off at the change of ends. Had to do a lot because he was being administered the salt stuff rubbed on his moustache just under his nose at the same time as getting two rackets off and the strings. They almost forgot those. He's finally made a drop shot. I tell you, if he'd missed that one, his racket might have uh, landed in Barcelona. Yes, this could, could be uh, just a, a mini watershed here, a little turning point back again for Costa. Well, he's uh, becoming the man they love to hate, Rios. Yes, it's just a matter of really wanting to get involved a little bit more. Well, I'm sure she's not decorum personified. <laughs> That's an incredible drop shot from Rios. Yes, he played it with the ball so high and so far back that uh, he really struck it just about as perfectly as he can. And an interesting shot by Costa, assuming that Rios was close in and feeling that the only way he could win it was by lobbing. And I think he was just about right. sort of hubble bubble tar and trouble the way they're muttering at the moment. Simply huge that for Costa to have held there from 1540 since that the um, match was starting to run away from him. Yes, it's a bit more like the first set now because Costa really struggled. As I said, he lost more points, although winning the set, than did Rios. Came from 1540 to hold his opening game there too. Gentlemen, <laughs> that'll do nicely. Yes, I think a bit of money is deserved for this play. It's been Rios has been doing that sort of stuff, but finally, and I think that Seven was a turning games. point, that drop shot in the last game, Costa bringing off the miraculous and converting.
Mendoza. It'll be interesting to see if Costa can just redevelop the the aggression which we saw really towards the end of the first set, early in the second. Because it seems to me he's lost he's lost the muscle. Okay, he brought off that terrific shot, but it was uh, really a last resort, and it uh, is Rios now very much the dictator. Once at all, one game all, 30 all. Time to pull up the socks. Of course, that's very often what clay court tennis is about. You can have a man who's doing a lot of dictating and taking the ball early and moving you, but if you get enough balls back, he may just miss in the end. from top Kornikova who's come out into the players balcony to watch Todd Martin's out there as well. As Rios holds and moves 2-1 in front. Back live to the French Open with Café de Colombia. Costa serving, 1-2. Third set, one set all. Both setting very, very high standards for themselves because they've been playing so well in not only in this event but in tournaments leading up to it. The set lost here by Costa, the first he's lost in this tournament. He's had a pretty comfortable passage. is looking very pleased with life not just because of the quality of the match we're looking but his queen has won Monica Sellers, the queen of the double handers 6-1-6-4 six, six, she's beaten Chanda Rubin so she awaits either Jana Novotna or Anna Kornikova in the quarterfinals just a third ace from Costa what a set First love service game for Albert Costa. Yeah, some rather dark looking clouds, but uh, Costa's brow, I think, has lightened considerably with that game. 
Yes, yeah, sadly they're rolling in from the west. Um, I think we've seen the last of the sun. I just hope there's no rain coming with them. They're dark, but they're high. But yesterday it really was remarkable. I, uh, when I left here just after we'd come off the air, Walk to a restaurant to meet some friends. I left in sunshine. By the time I got there, it was just starting to pour. Fortunately, I just made it. Yes, I always find Paris about the most dangerous place there is for that. I've so often been caught in massive storms. And like you, fortunately, I had an umbrella with me, but still got soused. This is how you hit a backhand down the line, Albert. Yes, it did seem uh, like that, didn't it? A, a competition, almost a practice competition of who could play the most accurately. Oh, good friends, back to back service games. Yes, to love. Rios leads by three games to two on serve in the third. Right. About the uh, how many times you're allowed to uh, have the trainer on court for the same condition, so maybe he's developed another one. Well, that's just what I was wondering. Two, three. Rancho Sanchez Vicario moves up a break in the third set against Serena Williams at 3 2. Williams having led by a set and 5 3. get up that's uh, well you don't need me to tell you that often uh, prefaces rain arriving oh, it'd be such a shame if uh, this match which is so perfectly poised had to be stopped Seems to me that Costa's just the more predictable of the two. He has the advantage, of course, of one hand on both sides, a taller man, so uh, he's got the extra bit of reach, but his forehand cross-court, Rios uh, reads that well, and uh, he hasn't got the backhand down the line, so uh, Rios can virtually afford to wait for the forehand from that side. Second double fault from Costa, and it's the first from either man since the first set. And in the circumstances, that... Uh, was a poor shot by Rios, because he was neither really going for the angle, had, was there with plenty of time, perhaps too much time, nor was he going for real pace. Four points from Rios from the 30 all. Yes, yeah, an anguish cry of uh, incredible. It's a little window you can see with the uh, green and white striped canopy, is where our colleagues from uh, radio work. 
beavering away at their reports and occasional commentaries. Zero counts. Fourth double from Rios. A little hurried there. The uh, observant might have just seen the ball boy not moving into position. Of course, he was coming from behind the umpire, so the umpire hadn't spotted him. Just the unexpected here. Costa not ex knowing that Rios was coming in, therefore thinking he was just chipping it back with Rios down at the baseline. Had he but known. First serve into the net as you were watching the replay. Not a bad second serve though. the first volley cut off all the angles here comes Bill Norris again 4-3 Rios in the third ah it is the leg beats Jens Knipschild 6-3, 7-5, 3-6 and 6-4 and in the rain delayed match from last night Alex Karecha beats Unon Gumi 6-1, 5-7, 6-7, 7-5 seven. back comes Costa and that was in five and a half hours. On the women's side, Martina Hingis beats Anna Smashnova, 6-1, 6-2. Venus Williams beats Henrietta Nagyova, 6-1, 6-3. Monica Sellers beats Chanda Rubin, 6-1, 6-4. Paddy Schneider beats uh, Maui Serna, 6-1, 6-3. Lindsay Davenport play, uh, beats Sandrine Testud, 6-3, 4-6, 6-2. Those are all the results so far today. My word, people putting blankets around them out there. I don't think it's quite that cold, but it's not very nice overhead. We're keeping our fingers firmly crossed, or maybe Marcelo Rios isn't. Maybe he's saying rain would do very nicely now. Just just let me win this third set, and then it can chuck it down. I'll get treatment. Come out tomorrow. Two sets to one up. Silence, merci. Three, four. the uh, best rally that Costa has played for some time and it was very much aided by a fine backhand down the line Inside the line. Of course, the whole problem of telling yourself if you're Costa that Rios is uh, under the weather is that he's coming up with shots like that, even though he's had smelling salts, he's had uh, cream applied to his uh, strained thigh. He's not running like the, the wounded. Hmm. 
had the sound of a line, but the umpire's in, no doubt, and nor is Rios. Bruno Rebeau is coming down. Yep, out is the decision, and it's two break points. And the fact that Bruno uh, has uh, put a, a jacket on over his blazer indicates that it's pretty nippy out there. Oh! oh! Rios launches himself and he'll serve for two sets to one. Puts the Chileans in uh, good heart and we can't blame them. That was such positive play by the Chilean. Costa keeps just missing, I'm afraid. Another Bruno River willing to come down, but Costa accepts what Rios has pointed out. Yes, he's the genuine article when it comes to uh, honour on the court, Rios. Getting really pumped up now is Marcelo. And so are they. Yeah, you can't keep that ball, you know. It's not ice hockey. And the umpire's getting it. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> a bit easier for him to see the funny side than for the players perhaps Set points for Rios. Wraps up the set in style. Oh. It's so important now for Costa to start this fourth set well to send the message that, uh, all right, you're ahead, but you ain't won yet. Yes, particularly if he's aware, which he obviously is, that there is a, just a slight injury with Rios. He wants to try and keep him out there as long as he possibly can. Should help him to keep his head up. We've just reached the two-hour mark for the match. And that two-hander really seemed to hurry away in the wind. Well, 
that's good play from Costa because we saw one shot earlier on stop, so he played the drop shot into the wind, and that stopped as well too. Starting to rain. Just got a little wrong, not surprising. One would assume he was Alberto. He was for a long time. Now he's Albert. <laughs> and Albert's uh, in danger of being run off his legs by this man now. shots of how he hardly ever brought the heel down, always on his toes. Suddenly lost his way. A few too many missed first serves. That 76% first serve percentage would have dropped a bit. And then a few hoiks on the backhand. And that stupid drop shot. Too good. Oh, this is a stunning shot by Rios because he's made up his mind in that split second as he approached the ball where exactly he was going to hit it and no, just no two ways about it, went for it. Yeah. 